Well, hello, welcome to my kitchen. It is really hot outside, really, really hot. So I don't want to heat up my kitchen. You know how that is. So what I'm going to show you how to make today is my favorite version of barbecued chicken. And I'm also going to make some baked beans to go with it. I am making a baked potato. I'm not going to show that, but if you'd like to see it, I will show it in another video. So let's just get it. Let's go. Let's get right into it. We got a few steps to do, but it is quick and easy. Watch what I do. Come on. Here's everything you're going to need for this yummy, yummy barbecue chicken. I have the bone-in skinless thighs right there. You're going to need garlic, black pepper, Lowry seasoning salt, some olive oil, parsley, paprika, garlic, and onion. That's all you're going to need for the best barbecue chicken you've ever had. Okay, so I washed off my chicken. I don't know if you wash, don't wash, the debate continues. But when I washed my chicken, I found something out. I got boneless. Oh well, onward, forward. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this little knife and I'm just gonna cut away some of the stuff that I don't like. And then I'll show you exactly what to do after that. All right, so I cleaned off all the Yucky yucks. We don't want to talk about it anymore. We're just going to get rid of it. And I'm going to take a Ziploc baggie. And I'm going to add the chicken to it. You could add it to a bowl. You could add it to whatever it is you want. I'm using a Ziploc baggie. It's disposable. I can get rid of it. So what I do with my bag is I fold it over so that when the chicken hits it, it only hits the inside of the bag and not the outside of the bag. So I'm gonna put my, what I thought was bone in, and it's not, in the bag. I have an extra chicken breast over here just in case this didn't make enough chicken, but I think it's gonna be fine. Okay, gotta get rid of that glove. All right, to the chicken, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of garlic powder and onion powder. I'm going to add, this is a teaspoon of pepper. Couldn't remember what it was. A teaspoon and a half. I have Lowry's seasoning salt. It says salt, but I like Lowry's the best. I have two tablespoons paprika, regular kind, not smoked. And I have four tablespoons of parsley. I leave a little bit out for the topping. And this is three, one third, not three fourths, one third cup olive oil. It calls for four cloves of garlic. This is what I have. Um, I usually just give it a good little chop. Um, I'm using a plastic knife because that's how I got it out. My garlic is all the way down at the bottom. So I just I just chop it a little bit to get to just to wake it up, I guess, is what I'm doing. Alrighty. So we're gonna close it up. Give her a good old mushing. And then I'm gonna put this in the oven for a minimum of 30 minutes. It works best if you can wait overnight or any extended period of time, but try to give it about 30 minutes. So I'll put that in the refrigerator and then I'll get started on the side dish. All right, here's everything you're going to need for the baked beans. Um, I did have bacon, but I forgot to cook it. So we're just gonna have to skip that step. 
but we're going to need the beans, some pancake syrup, yellow mustard, brown sugar, and an onion that I'm going to saute. Okay, first things first is we're going to dice up the onion. And then I'm just going to, I'm going to chop them up real small so they're not giant. So let me get to the rest of this onion and we'll move forward. All right, let's get started on the baked beans. I put a little bit of butter in the pan. I'm going to saute the onions. You can put them in there raw. You can put them in there sauteed. You can omit it all together. Uh, baked beans are one of those things that just everybody has their own recipe for. Um, so I'm just gonna saw, I'm just gonna cook these until they're softened, not all the way, just most of the way. I want to give it a nice jump start on the beans. It should only take about maybe three minutes, if that. I'll be right back when they get to the doneness I want. All right, for the rest of this, it's basically dump and go. Um, I took one small can of beans and I drained them. And then the one regular can, I left the juice in there. I'm going to add the sauteed onions. I know some people put beef uh, in their beans. I don't know about that. All right, so then I'm gonna add some pancake syrup. I didn't say it was healthy. I just said it was baked beans. So one, two tablespoons. And I'm gonna add some brown sugar. This is half a cup. However, I'm not putting the whole half in at first. I'm gonna put in a quarter cup. I'm gonna put half of this in there. I hope I don't cut my uh, container. It's one of these kind. I should have put it in a quarter cup measuring thing, but I didn't, so. I take out more than I need and hope I don't want that much. All right, so that's a quarter of a cup. Now you can add spicy mustard to this. You can add yellow mustard to this. You can add Dijon mustard to this. We like yellow mustard. Oh, I just heard a bean hit the floor. It jumped out of the pan and hit the floor. I have French's. One tablespoon. Here's something you may not know. On French's mustard, on the back, there's this little teeny tiny little thing stick it up. If you open up your mustard and click it in, it stays like that. Here's a pro tip for you. So we're gonna mix this around. I've used Goldens in here. Uh, it just really depends on what kind of a baked bean mood I'm in. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of butter. And mix that all through. All right, now here, which I forgot to say at the beginning, is my secret ingredient besides the pancake syrup that it gives it that, I don't know, maple. Gives it that maple taste in the background. Last secret ingredient, ground cinnamon. Put some in there. Not a lot, just mix it around. And now is where I would top it with my bacon. But we don't have any bacon. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do what all good cooks do. In my case, average cook. We're gonna wing it. We're gonna grab some of these, because I want the flavor in there, but I don't have the bacon. Well, I have the bacon, I just forgot to cook it. It's not very bacony, it's what, it's a little bit of bacon that I got. All right, 
So we're gonna put this in the oven, covered on 350 for about 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna go in and check it, and then I'll pull the cover off, and we're gonna let it thicken up. If it doesn't thicken up on its own, which it usually does, um, you could add a little bit of cornstarch and it'll, it'll thicken it right up. So let's get on to the main course. So we got the chicken out of the refrigerator. I'm gonna take it out of this bag and I pushed it around a little bit. I'm gonna take it out of the bag and we're gonna get outside and start grilling. Okay. Hey, look at all that seasoning on that. That's looking good. I'm still disappointed that they're not bone in, but I'll get over it, I suppose. All right, so let me get all this chicken out and I'll be right back. All right, I'm sorry if this is a little wobbly. I'm doing it with one hand. I apologize in advance. Look at that bubbly, ooey gooey goodness. I'm going to put it back in the oven for a few more minutes without the cover so it will thicken up. All right, first things first. My grill is clean. It's a little old and a little used, but it is clean. All right, so I got a little bit of smoke going on. I put the uh, some grease on the grate so that it doesn't stick. And we're going to start adding this chicken right on the grill. Look at the color on this chicken. I have the middle one off because mine gets really hot, so I'm trying not to burn it. That's that chicken breast that I cut up that I had extra. Now tomorrow is Sunday. I won't be doing a video tomorrow. That's my day to rest. So I'm hoping for leftovers. All right. What I'm going to do now is I have a little a little container here. Just some tin foil pan. I'm adding some water to it. And what that does is it helps keep moisture inside the grill. I don't want to steam anything. I just want some moisture. So let me close that lid and it will be back. And look at those beans. Yum. 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 You see that bubbling? It's all nice and thick. Oh, I can't wait to taste it. I heard Eric say yama over there. All right, when you're cooking on the grill, I'm not the best grill master, but I do know you kind of have to babysit it a little bit. I don't want the flames hitting it directly. I want an indirect heat. That's why the middle one's off. Well, one of the reasons. Also, because my thing is very hot. But I do want the heat. So I'm just going to move it around a little bit because... There's more indirect heat here than there is here. So, and that spot right there is the hottest spot on my grill. I'm trying to stay away from it. All right, these are getting ready to get turned over. You see this one here? Look at that. Yeah. Oh yeah, these are getting good and ready. Woo, almost charred that one. Told you I wasn't the best griller, but I can grill. So we're gonna give them a good flip. We're not gonna keep peeking at them. We're just gonna let them cook. If you're looking, you ain't cooking. That's what I say because if the lid's up, the heat's down. Look at that. I'm gonna start getting these off the grill. Okay, so I got the last couple of pieces getting ready to come off. It's reached the proper temperature. We're going to bring this inside. For those who may want some barbecue sauce, they probably won't, but they're going to want to dip it. They're not going to want it on top because this has a lot of seasoning. If anybody wants it on top, I could throw it back on the grill for them. So, time to meet inside at the table. And there you have it. There is our grilled chicken, baked beans, and a baked potato. And everything is looking so yummy. Nobody wants barbecue sauce. Everybody said, heck no. Not on note. Mm -mm, not having it. All right. 
Well, let's get to the taste test. And there's my plate. She's looking yummy. Yummy. And what, Eric? Yummy! My butter already melted in there. All right, let's get to the table. If you get any benefit at all from my content, you can help me out by clicking like, share, commenting, and definitely hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. All righty, here we are. Well, hello. Well, hello. Let's give it a go. I'm going to start with the beans. What are you going to start with? I'm going to start with the chicken. All right. I'll give you my commentary after. Let's see. Mm. I'm not saying a word. This definitely doesn't need bar barbecue sauce. I can't hear you. Sauce. This definitely doesn't need barbecue sauce. No. No. And look in there. It's so, so I don't know if you can see, but it's so white and juicy. I'll, I'll show after I'm done. Is there bacon in this? Yeah. Mm. I didn't have bacon bacon, so I threw some bacon bits in it. You taste it? There you go. Not such a cheap fix after all. That is delicious. It is. Mmm. All right. Well, let's get everybody to the table and let them get a try. Bye. Okay. So how did we do? I say... A raging success. I thought I made too much food. They ate every bit of it. <clears throat> and what about the beans? A little tiny bit left. And that doesn't have long to live either. It was absolutely delicious. The bacon bits were a nice addition. I would have preferred real bacon, but it was a nice addition. So, I hope you give it a try. I know you'll like it. And hey, leave me a comment whether you do or you don't. See you later. Bye. And don't forget, like and subscribe. Smash my face.